Oh, hey you. I was just finishing up this little bit of painting. <laughs> mm hmm yep. I pretty much stayed up all night trying to get it done, but I think it was worth it. Like, look at how much better this place looks. Mm, I know, I know, but I know how much you've had going on lately, so I just I didn't want to leave much for you to help out with here. <laughs> Don't think I didn't leave you anything. Here, grab a brush. Mm-hmm, yeah, you're gonna help me do this door frame. This is the last coat, so it shouldn't take us too long. <laughs> so, how is everything going? Mm, well, I can tell straight away that things aren't fine. Come on. You know you'll feel better if you get it off your chest. Look, I'm not taking no for an answer this time. I, I, I let it slide before out of respect, but I, I'm not doing it this time. Like, I can't. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I. You just haven't been yourself, and I care for you so much. I mean, I know that if I gave you no for an answer, you would not leave me alone until you knew what was wrong, or you know I was really okay. Would you? Exactly. So, just tell me. Please. Because, I mean, if you don't, I'm just gonna... I'll be forced to dump all this white paint on you. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, I hope you know deep down that... <laughs> That's just your, that's your brain being silly. It is, trust me. Your brain can make things seem very, very real when it wants to. Especially the bad stuff. But I know, I can see how hard you've been working towards this and all I can see is progress. Like... Yeah, but it can't be skyrocketing progress all day, every day, can it? It's, you know, otherwise it would be easy. Otherwise, everyone would be able to achieve it. You know, like, sometimes there are these lulls in the process and you just have to keep working through it. Okay? I mean... You want an example? <laughs> like, look at me. I'm, I'm a prime example. I never, ever thought that I was going to get this place. Not in my wildest dreams. But I kept working and believing and eventually, after a really long, long time, I managed to get it. I, I got it. And honestly... I think the fact that I had to push through and just keep going, even though I felt exactly how you feel now, I just, I appreciate it even more. Hey, yes you can. You've already done the hard part. You, you started, like, everything else is just gonna come so much easier now. Put the paintbrush down. Because I want to talk to you properly. Come on, come sit with me. <laughs> I want you to look at me. Right at me. Come on. I want you. I need you 
you to hear this. I want you to take me seriously. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Yes, you are. You know I care about you, right? Good. So then you know that I would never want to make you feel uncomfortable. Especially talking about things like this, but... I just, I feel like if I don't, if we don't, then... You're just gonna keep bottling it all up and we're gonna get to a point where we can't even talk about it anymore no it's it'll be too late oh God, listen to me i think that you think that you're fine yeah but as someone on the outside even i can see that things are getting to you and I think that maybe you're trying to keep it all inside because, I don't know, maybe you don't think it's important enough to talk about? Alright, well, I'm here to tell you that if it's affecting you so much that other people are noticing, it has gone way past the important enough stage like if it's upsetting you it's important it's really important it's the most important thing I, I know i know i know but you just need to try to trust me here okay i need you to listen to me that's why i said i need you to listen please look at me I need to know that you're hearing me. Okay. <laughs> you are one of the kindest people that I've ever known. Whenever I or, or anyone else has a problem, you just... You drop everything to help them. It, it's like one of your best qualities, but... <sighs> sometimes it can be one of your worst, too. You know... You are just as important as me or any other people that you care about. Okay. So, talk to me. Well, what is the biggest thing on your mind right now? Be honest with me. And do you think that that's not important enough? <sighs> that's the kind of stress that makes you want to curl up into a ball and get into bed and never come back. Like, that's hot. That's, that's stressful. But, I mean... Look at you. I know it's stressful. And I bet it feels like you're just carrying on and on and you haven't got a lot to show for it. Like you're never gonna get that. It sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you know what, though? This is the part of the process that you're gonna look back on and think, Wow. Where did the time go? You know, it went so quick. It's dragging right now. It feels like it's gonna take forever. Because it feels like you're going nowhere. 
and there isn't a lot of day-to-day -day progress to show for it, but I mean, look at how far along you are already, you know? I'm amazed at how much work you put in, so much time and effort to get to where you are now, and you're so far from the start now. It's almost the home stretch, you know? You just need to keep going. You need to keep trusting in the process and trust that this consistent effort is pulling you towards the place that you want to get to. Just look at where you were a few months ago, even years ago, and look at how much you've grown and developed since then, how much you've accomplished. I know I keep going on and on, but you have to think like, like Rome, it wasn't built in a day, <laughs> you know, and the things that we want most in life, they aren't either, it takes patience, it takes the strength to carry on as you have been, even when you feel as slow and defeated as you do now, you know what, if there is ever a time to push through, it's now. This is the time where you have to just keep going and you have to keep pushing and just give yourself that chance. Because as soon as you stop trying, you take away 100% of the chance of things working out. But if you just keep going, it would just break my heart if I saw you throw away all the hard work you've already put in. Because I've never known someone more deserving than you. You deserve everything good that this life can offer you and I wish with my whole heart that I could just give it to you. You know, I would, if I could give it to you, if you could just have it, I, I would do it. But that's the thing about this life, this weird life. You know, we have to make our own luck. We have to be ready when opportunities come our way. We have to believe that we deserve this. And right now, I'm not sure that you do believe it. But maybe that's where a small part of the problem lies. Because you do deserve this. You've worked so hard for this. And it's going to happen. It's inevitable. It, you know, you you just need to walk the path to get there. You're already on it. <laughs> and you're so close, you know. I know it's hard. I especially know how it feels, how hard it is, how hard you have to work. I just I wish I could take away how you feel because I know. It's so lonely and horrible and hopeless. But you know what? You're not alone. You're never going to be alone in this. As long as, you know, you start talking about your feelings because once you do that, you know, suddenly they just, they become a bit smaller. <laughs> you know? I shout out a bit more. That's why I talk to you all the time. <laughs> it makes you feel better. It makes you feel like... Yeah, like you're not alone. That's why you need to start talking about your feelings more, dummy. Alright, you matter. And your feelings matter. And they're important. Okay? Say it to me. Say, my feelings matter. Come on. Do you really think I'll leave you alone until you say it? Come on. My feelings matter. Yes, they do. You need to believe it, okay? Because you are going to reach your destination so much sooner than you probably think. He really isn't far away. <laughs> when that day comes, we are gonna 
we're gonna go celebrate. Mm hmm we are. Because it's gonna happen. It's already happening. <laughs> You're already making it happen. It's just a matter of time. And you know what? When the day comes, because it is coming, I am going to sit you down here. I'm going to look you in the eyes again. Hopefully, you can look back into my eyes without looking away. <laughs> and then I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how proud I am of you. And how I knew that you would always get that. It's a promise. Okay? I believe in you. I'll always believe in you. <laughs> you don't have to thank me for anything. Alright? You have everything you need to do this inside you already. And I'm just here to prod you and pester you when you're being silly. Feeling okay? Feeling better? Good. <laughs> Come here. Oh, everything's gonna be so great. So great. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. <sighs> hmm. Now, come on, cuz. This room isn't gonna paint itself and... I think we should go out to have food. Mm hmm Yes. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I will toss a coin and see who wins, cause mm, I really I I wanna I wanna eat. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just I'm I'm gonna win and we're gonna go eat that. Oh, we're not going anywhere until we painted the store frame, so. We better finish it. <laughs> Alright, come on. 